what up what's going on it's your boy deuce back with another video been a long time but i had to make a video of this one i got the s95b over here on the right from samsung qd oled and i got the lg g1 on the left of course from lg both 55 inches there is no size difference between these two um the one on the left is obviously further away from the window than the one on the right which is the qd oled which is pretty much right by the window um as of right now uh the the qd oled the hype is real it don't look like it don't look like it on camera uh, because this one looks brighter than this one on camera in person that is not the case um i can assure you of that uh, the lg g1 is in vivid mode the samsung um s95b is in dynamic mode which i'm guessing is kind of like vivid mode uh to lg's vivid but in person, see, the differences between the QD OLED and the regular OLED is kind of hard to see. And this is the reason why I'm doing a video for you guys, because on video, it's not really easy to see. Uh, QD OLED, because it's color volume, it, it, it's, it might seem like on paper, it's not really that much brighter um than a regular oled and even um if you look at uh just regular videos on youtube it might even seem like well some cases it seem like it's brighter other cases it seem like it's not um actually what that is is that the qd oled is brighter but it utilizes its brightness differently so in other words it's like when the lg on this video gets very bright and you see it sometimes like this scene here where it looks brighter than this scene that's not actually the case um it's like this like this scene that scene that passing with the rocks the lg looks bright on camera because it just looks it, it, it's kind of like it's um just a mitten more light but it's way more detail on the qd oled so that's probably why it looks as though the uh the lg is brighter when, when in actuality it's not um the qd oled just it pops more in person in person it pops more it looks richer the colors stand out more it looks brighter in a lot of instances like this scene here this is brighter and that is not that one look more washed out the qd oled don't but on camera it looks like this is brighter which is completely not the case uh and by the way this is this is of course closer to uh, the window uh and this is a broad daylight I can just imagine what it's going to be like at night. <laughs> but the LG G1 is a good TV, by the way, just to let you know. It's a good TV on vivid mode. It's spectacular. The difference is when you put this TV in other modes, it still looked just as good. When I had it in game mode, it still looked just as good. Um, it's like it didn't decrease the color or anything like that or the brightness. It looked just as good. The QD OLED is a TV that you or or monitor that you have to see in person in order to reap the benefits of it. It's nothing you can really look at on YouTube. No video is gonna really be able to show you the difference because ultimately it's 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 OLED to OLED. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna they both look good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, one might look brighter than the other on camera simply because they use different technologies so you might be seeing it on camera okay this is just brighter that is not the case dude like in person this tv is definitely brighter than the lg and this is lg's vivid mode i let you guys know that this is the vivid mode when you take it out of vivid mode man it ain't doing all this <laughs> just telling you that now and this is this is just this is just beating it it just looks better the image pop out more it's more like a 3d effect I kind of like that one video of uh, the YouTuber who was on the YouTube with FOMO when he said it looks like a, a premium LED TV. That's pretty much what it looks like. It looked like a OLED LED TV. It's like what you want in it, oh, what you want in it, LCD or LED, what you want in it, LED, mini LED, um, you get in OLED um, form. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Like I said, gotta be in person man and in some cases some scenes on here is darker than scenes on there which makes me wonder you know with the cute with the with the cell song i don't know like if it's just certain scenes where they just want to reduce the brightness or not i don't know but in most 
scenarios, this TV is brighter than this TV regardless of what you guys see on camera. QD OLED is nice. It's a really nice TV. And uh, honestly, guys, I got it because um, I wanted a gaming monitor. Um, the QD OLED gaming monitor is just too small for me. I just can't do it. Uh, and it's 21 by 9. There's no 16 by 9 support. You can't like, in other words, you can't stress the screen out. So that killed it for me. So I wanted to get the TV, and I got the TV instead. And I like it. I love the gaming features of Samsung. I love the vibrancy of Samsung. It looks really good. And uh, I just want you guys to understand from my perspective, I actually have the TV. So I wanted to give you my honest opinion. Don't think that on camera because this looks brighter it is brighter that is not the case just in case you start seeing youtubers post stuff and, and bringing up false information you have to see it in person and this is a lg g1 just let you guys know that's the lg g1 and this is the s 95b no joke i wanted you guys to see that you see them viewing angles too is pretty dang good i didn't even get all the tape stuff off of there um you can see them viewing things good. You can see, man, I'm right by the window, man. This is right outside, man. It's right by the window, man. Blinds is open. <sighs> Come on, man. Like, right by the window. Uh, just opened it up. Took it out the box not too long ago. It didn't even get warmed up. I ain't finished doing anything to it like that. Besides putting this on dynamic and putting that on vivid. So, just letting you guys know. Yes, QD OLED is something you have to see in person. It is a different different breed it is a different ball game it looks good where scenes on this might be bright and sometimes look washed out it the funny thing is this didn't look washed out before to me until you compare it to a QD OLED and then you actually see how it should look especially in HDR this is an HDR beast screw the monitor this is what you need bigger size and it just looks better um also too another thing too uh, that grayish looking black stuff, the grayish looking screen they say uh, I don't really know what that's all about but I will say this when they both turned off this do look more black and that look more like grayish um, but it ain't nothing you're going to really notice not unless you got an all black scene that's right by a window um, and even then it don't bother me honestly um, especially for what you get all right, guys, that's it, man. Uh, got any questions, let me know in the comments. I just wanted to make a real quick video, and this ain't real quick. It's seven minutes long, but I can't really jam everything in one video about this TV. It's a lot to talk about, and it's a nice TV. It is gorgeous. If you're a gamer, I think you should get this, the S95B Samsung. If you a, uh, a person who really, really into movies like that, of course, go get that A95K. Um, I, you know... I'm still debating on whether I would keep this to get the A95K, but I think I'm going to keep this simply because um, I'm a gamer. You know, I, I have I game halfway, movies the next. Uh, and I like Samsung colors. So, <laughs> Sony might not be vibrant enough for me. Who knows? All right, guys. Peace.